The Lima Foundation is a nonprofit organization that educates and inspires at risk youth to unleash their potential in academics, athletics, and life skills. They live by the mission statement do not expect to accomplish your dreams if you're not willing to help others accomplish theirs. They carry out this mission by sponsoring 20 kids per year and dedicate their time to giving the kids an athletic facility where they endure grueling workouts five days a week, mandatory studying hours with tutors, and cooking meals with them and helping them develop other life skills. Each year they host an event called Lima Mona Lisa where they bring in keynote speakers to touch on how they were able to work themselves up in male-dominated industries. At the beginning of the event, there are many different tables set up where young female entrepreneurs, most of which are the kids' limo sponsors, are able to educate the community about their product and be proud of what they created. I am on the executive student committee for this event, and for my action research project, I wanted to help inform the surrounding community about what the Limo Foundation is and why it is important that it gets the funding it needs to continue supporting kids and to grow into an even bigger foundation. I wanted this to be a very sincere display, so for my project I decided to take Polaroid photographs of the kids sponsored by the foundation and take quotes from them on how the Lima Foundation has changed their life and inspired them to be great. Both my mission and vision statement were incorporated into my action research project. My mission is to become the head of a nonprofit organization so that I am able to cultivate and influence the lives of children and young adults that have not had the opportunities and have not been given the resources to one day become a contributing member of society. I will do this by developing my interpersonal skills and working beside those who I wish to create opportunity for. I have created a vision for my life based on my experiences in the past. Since I was in seventh grade, I have been involved in a nonprofit organization. The main goal of the organization is to help children from bad areas or bad home lives gain opportunities to break them out of the path of misfortune they would likely take for their lives. By creating relationships with the kids involved in this organization, I have learned how much I value justice and opportunity for everyone, no matter where they come from or what kind of family they were born into. I believe that because I have realized this at a young age, I am able to understand the importance of helping those unable to help themselves. The people who currently are in charge of the nonprofit have guided me in my growth as a person. They are people who have instilled in me that I am a person who is able to create change even though I am only one person. Their constant reassurance that I am able to do anything I put my mind to has shaped my desire to help those not given the opportunities I have had. I have decided to commit my life to helping others believe the same thing so that they are not afraid to go for the things they never thought possible because those people will be the ones to change the world one day. By developing certain skills such as patience, communication, and dedication, I will be able to influence others the way I have been influenced. The book I chose for my action research project was Outliers, The Story of Success. This book helped me realize that a certain sequence of events can oftentimes determine where we end up in life. Gladwell states, who we are cannot be separated from where we're from. I was able to connect this book to the foundation that I did my action research project with. The kids involved in the foundation were not born into financially stable homes and sometimes not emotionally stable homes. The Limo Foundation was their one spark that created a sequence of events to happen in order for them to be successful. Without the foundation, they would most likely be thrown into a cycle of constant disappointment instead of achievement. The main goal of my action research project was to spread the word about this small foundation so that other kids have that one trigger to break them out of a horrible cycle. Once they are able to break the cycle, they are then given the opportunity to be successful and get what they deserve. With these lessons that I learned from this book, I was able to incorporate the idea that luck is a very big part of success. And although these kids did not start out with good luck at all, the blessing of the Lima Foundation in their lives made it possible for them to have their own success story. The kids involved in the Lima Foundation are true outliers. They are outliers because the fact that they were able to transform the negative aspects in their life into a driving force for their future makes them different. My first feedback loop consisted of the other individuals on the student committee. I had sent out a survey on how they think my leadership skills were and what I could do better. Instead of using multiple choice questions, I wanted to give them a text box where they could write anything and everything that they thought about my leadership instead of limiting them to picking a description that they think best describe my actions. For the positives on my leadership from my first feedback loop, I received a lot of comments on how they felt as though I did a very good job on the display and was good at being in communication with them when I was so far away. 
They were happy that I was always on top of things and felt as though I did the best I could with the limitations I faced from not being able to be in town until the day before the event. Some of the critiques I received on my leadership skills were that I was not as clear as I could have been on what my point was for having this display. My intention of getting the word out about this foundation was not as obvious as I could have made it and they were a bit confused as to why they were getting me the footage and the quotes. For my second feedback loop, I just gave the same survey to the executive board of the foundation. For their responses, I was told that they thought it was very exciting that I wanted to get the word out about the foundation, and they thought how I did it was more effective than just writing flyers or posting on websites. The direct communication with the playmakers and the display of why and how they were affected by the Lima Foundation captivated more people and was a very heartfelt way of getting my message across. I was more clear about my intentions of my project with the executive board than I was with the student committee. Their one critique of me was obviously that I was not able to be in attendance as much as I would have liked and they would have liked. It was difficult to try and stay in communication on my progress and if I was going to be ready to display this by the event because I flew in the day before. This became stressful to me because I knew how busy they were preparing for the main event, which was the women empowerment segment, but they were very thankful for what I was doing. For my third feedback loop, I stood by my display and wanted to listen to the reactions of the attendees of the event. I received many compliments and questions from the attendees. They thought it was very cool what I was doing and how some of them did not know what the foundation was based off of and that it was helpful and made the event more special. I received a lot more in-depth questions when I was able to speak about how the Lima Foundation affected me personally and why I thought it was important to get this word out and make it bigger and better. Overall, I received very good feedback from my feedback loops and will be able to consider the critiques that I received and hopefully improve next time. This project was an incredible experience for me. I felt like it truly reflected who I am and captivated who I am as a leader. I am so thankful to have been able to meet the people involved in this foundation and be able to express myself as a leader with them.